So I want to dedicate this video to my brother-in-law, Calvin Buckner, you know, Big C. You know, I had a vision last night, and I was thinking about it, right? And I was thinking about how the Lord was placing it on my chest. And I said to myself that uh, I kind of like visualized my brother-in-law with a thousand-car supermarket in Arizona. And what and what make his demonstration so together is that you can see him. You know, you can see how he's getting it done. You know what I'm saying? And uh he's an expert at uh anything dealing with credit in terms of like trade lines, uh anything dealing with um, you know, how to put your LLC or what corporation you want to put together. You know what I mean? How to get your business credit, how to get your loans, uh, how to increase your credit point levels like really quickly based on what you do. Right. His whole his whole demonstration is that don't depend on somebody else that you can do for yourself. You feel me? So he was the first one that uh, introduced me to the rocket pencil. Right. I was trying to figure out what a rocket pencil was. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to figure out what a desk was. Oh, like and subscribe uh, in terms of uh, what I'm about to talk about in terms of affirmations and what your affirmations is all about and what gets you through the day. Because I got some whoppers. I mean, they like really tight. But to get back to Big C, okay, the brother has a vision and his, and, and his vision is to use Zoom conference to teach individuals who otherwise would be salesmen on something that they not that they don't need to be doing. And basically what he would do is teach you a skill that can last you throughout your lifetime. And really the objective is for you to get your own dealership because then you got plugged into the network. You feel me? It's all about networking because I hear these people think they got it on lock, but see, they forgot God and they forgot be more style. Right. That's why I got to go back like I'm a Marco Polo to go take care of some some business. And I'm going to jump back out here flying on flights like just getting it done. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day. People are going to say, well, what you doing? So then that way I'll be able to use my uh, YouTube videos and I'll just be filming stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so yeah, shout out to uh, Big C, Calvin, Calvin Buckner, you know, getting it done, done, real deal. Uh, uh, I think it's called credit services. I, I, I normally would have had the card out here, but I'm like, I like, I like freestyle. I like coming straight, straight from the dome, straight from the chest, you know, giving respect and, uh, and observance, you know what I mean? In terms of uh, people that's taking it to the next level. So what I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to, uh, again, like and subscribe if you like it, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, definitely, uh, comment below and tell me of your own favorite affirmation. So I'm going to get right with it, right? Because a lot of this stuff, cause it's really deep today, it's going to be self-explanatory. So I'm going to get right to it, right? So here's the first one. Evil is air. And is illusion. Uh, is illusion. Evil is air and is illusion. You gotta figure that one out. I can't I can't give you I can't I can't give you all the nuggets like right in the nugget itself. You I mean you got the nugget, just just take the, the drill of your mind and like break it down, like you know, like research it, like Google it, like what well, what, what what does this mean? That's how you find out. That's how you get the uh, aha moment based on the effort that you put in. Nobody get a free pass. To be straight up, I don't even think Jesus got a free pass. But he said, when you see me, you see my father. Hmm. What was he? What do you mean? Okay. Good is truth and is reality. Truth will dispel error. Therefore, good will dispel evil. Evil is the result of man's thought, not God's. See, God gave man free will. So, so people think that God uh, created uh, uh, good and evil. That's not true. What happened was God is total good, and you don't you don't have to fear someone that loves you. See that, that that's why I know we've been taught the wrong thing. 
I know it'll probably mess up a lot of people's concepts, but see, I sat down and broke it down for myself. That's why I'm doing these videos. So what happened in the end was man had free will. God give you what you want. And so when man would err or make a mistake, he would come up with all these other excuses. But the mistake, if you stay with the mistake and learn from the mistake, it takes you to the next step like in a chess game. Anybody that know how to play chess, know how to move that knight. Yeah, yeah. Know when that queen will block everything and the bishops crisscross. You know anything about and then And then them pawns, especially if you know how to push them. Game over. That's what this is about. Hell and the devil are illusions. Man creates his own hell. But a lot of people would be really surprised where you go at when you do transition. Notice I didn't use the word death. And everybody got to go through it. You know, that leads me to say this, like, I think about three nights ago I died, right? Yeah, three nights ago. So I didn't physically die, but it felt like I was dying. But what was happening was my ego within was being expelled from my body. And I could feel it. That little, that little thing that's right near your throat, it came out of that. It was kind of funny in a way, right, when I was laughing about it, right, because I was asleep, right? So I came up out of my sleep. And, and like, and so like, and so like something told me, look, just open up the door, get some fresh air up in here. And I, and I, and I went to the men's room. So, you know, I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on the, you know, on the, on the seat. And, uh, and I said, dog, I, guess what it came to my mind? I said, dog, my sister, my sister, they're going to call, they're going, they're going to find me up in here. <laughs> they're going to call my sister. Then my brother-in-law going to go down, come and then, and then, uh, I was like, dog, I don't want to go like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, man, nah, don't, no, not, no, no. <laughs> but anyway, it felt like I was dying. So I'm already going through my process because, like, my whole attitude is totally different, right? That just like when I when I go up against what they call, uh, what do you call that? Like when somebody is like pushing up against you, you know, it's almost like like, I like to use sports. It's like somebody trying to check Kobe Bryant at his prime and he go right around him. Can he touch him? That's how this is like. So what I do now is I'm so focused on, on oh, love these affirmations. Listen to this one. I need to say this in all my videos. Believe, accept, know. Relax. Bam. Let me hit it again. I like that myself. Believe. Accept. No. Relax. Now, let me hit you real quick what it means. When you believe in something, can't nothing get in. And see, this ain't like believing in a clown. This is believing in the almighty. They say, who do you listen to? And how do you know it's God talking to you? Well, you're going to find out because guess what I found out? If you think consistently the negative based on something that you haven't been able to control, you will create the negative by your own thought. And then you got to walk that road. You got to lie in that bed. But if you know how to come out of that, and it goes something like this, because some of it is what we had no control over. But check this out. It goes something like this. The deeper you was down in direct proportion, that's how high you're going. So I got like about 40, 50 years of this like going down. It's like I'm coming up. Like I'm really, I'm, I'm already up actually. Because see, all I need to know, see, the only thing I need to do is execute what I know. How about this one? 
God does not destroy any human soul for he does not destroy himself. Let me say that again. Because see, I understand this stuff. God does not destroy any human soul for he does not destroy himself. God knows everything, therefore is incapable of error or evil. The single function, the single function, the single function of the subconscious mind. I just want to make sure my sound was right, right? I mean, I may, y'all may be able to turn it down, but sometimes the way that this stuff works, right, you know, like I, I really need to be in an engineering room. You feel what I'm saying with an engineer? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody checking out the sounds, making sure, you know, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to tell, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it to that, that level. Anyway. It is said that the single function of the subconscious mind or universal mind is to manifest into form or circumstance or circumstance. Let me say this again. The single function of the subconscious mind or universal mind is to manifest into form or by circumstance create the seed of thought. Man has complete freedom of choice and the kind of thought he wishes to plant in the garden of subconscious mind. Now let me explain real quick what that means. That means that the subconscious mind worked 24-7 and it reflect those same thoughts that you plant, but it don't, but, but like, it's hard to, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. I put it like this, right? I had no idea that there are a hundred signals of thought that comes per second. And if you don't know which thought to think, and let's say you start thinking negative, that same thought get magnified like 10,000 times. And so, and so since our lives are based on thought, that's the reason why you got to be so careful about the thoughts that you think. Because then you start creating from that. I was unconsciously doing it. I didn't know what I was doing. It says, no human being can assume the responsibility for a single thing other than his own thinking for the universal subconscious mind does all creating. I'm not even going to try to break that down. Morality and ethics do not always follow the law. So this is the reason why we have to be so careful and follow man's law even though we live in communities and so forth and so on with codes and statues and so forth and so on, the ultimate law that one should learn how to follow is spiritual law because spiritual law is like mental law. So before you can get a thing, it must be created and thought first. Then subconscious mind gives it its what we would call energy to create. Okay, so at the end of the day, uh, that's what this information is truly all about. And then I wanted to, I wanted to speak on this right here. This right here is decent as well, right? Basic and eternal in the universe are everlasting laws of action. A vibrating Universe acting upon itself evolves centers of force such are represented by the atom and by the solar system. These centers of force seek other centers of force, force with similar vibrations and by their connection matter is formed. Since intelligent law makes up the center of force, the atom which is the building block of the universe is conscious. 
We have our being in the midst of a living universe. There is no such thing as inanimate matter. Let me go to this one right here. Love is the eternal healer. Mental purpose is necessary to health. Then I'm going to hit this one right here. Because this right here, I'm, I'm definitely going to I'm definitely going to come back to this because this right here is really good. Though body is mortal, a man is never born and never dies. He is. The reasoning is because he has an essence with him of what we would call the Trinity. So when you see man, you see the temple. I know. Do your research. Do your research. Yeah. The presence that animates body is invisible in life and leaving the body on death is invisible still. One self incarnates in all bodies and is deathless, ageless, eternal spirit. Ego shuts us away from the knowledge of self. Ego deludes us into believing it is I. Ego is as mortal as the body. At death, we all become universal self. Ego is mortal as the body. And at death, we all become universal self. He who banishes ego during his life achieves power for he moves with God. So actually, that's what I'm working on. Right. So I was looking up these two words that my brother in law was telling me about and I had known about them, but he emphasized he was talking about uh, uh, being meek and humble. Right. So. The word meek means. An individual who. Can make it happen. But he chooses to chill because he know he's on another level. That's meek. Humble is doggone. I, I, I forgot exactly what, what, what humble was, but like, I mean, I know what it means like regular, but I wanted to speak about it from the spiritual point of view. Right. So like like off the top of my head and just going with what I'm like feeling right now, because I got, you know, a lot of stuff I got to do after this. Um, Spiritually humble means when you know that you're placing God first, that you know that you can't get nothing done without God. That's what humble means. So, the death of the ego must precede awareness of universal self. So if you got any ego in you, and if you want to, you can research what ego is. You can find out in reference to ego what 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 is ego defined as spiritually? And and you only need to do it alone. You don't gotta talk to nobody. You can research it by your phone, whatever, and just put in there spiritually, what does ego mean? What does ego mean spiritually? And from that, that will give you more insight on where you're at in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like part of the part of the ego is like like just off the top of my head, just sharing. People whose egos can't handle it, they don't like to hear about nobody else getting it, if you're speaking about it, um, or somebody else is speaking about it, um, they very, they, like, it could be someone, like, like I'll, I'll just say, just do the research in reference to the spirit, because I, I can really get down on it, but it does sound kind of crazy in a way, because, because it may cut short, and what I really want to do is not stamp what I think it is, all the individual has to do is research it and find out what does ego mean from a spiritual point of view, not psychiatric, spiritual. 
It says here again, I'm going to say this again because I'm feeling it. He who banishes ego during his life achieves power for he moves with God. Like even logically, when I think about it, you may not have nobody really saying anything, but you got people who moving with God because because God is moving in them already. They just ain't really saying anything. My situation, my situation is a little bit different, right? Like my situation is more like. um, Like I want to do something that nobody has done before. I can only think of one person who's done it. And since I never met him, but I read about him, but some of what the, the comments that are, are attested to him, and that would be Jesus the Christ. You see, because I got a plan that I'm working on right now, right, that I could I could execute where I'm physically right where I'm at, but just not where I'm needed. See, where I'm at, it's hard. It's, not, it's very it's very few of us here, very unsupportive, culturally like distanced. Um, uh, you know, other people, you know, they got it going on. And I'm like, oh, where's our part? I ain't just talking about cooped up in the city. Like, I mean, where do we lose sight about creating our own cities? And it's definitely doable. Especially if God is your protection. Like, can't nothing come in. Like, I can't wait until I get some, some like, some like uh, uh, like members, like I can teach indirectly, like uh, direct, and I can really get because because on these videos I can't really say what what I really want to. You know what I'm saying? I've been studying for for many many years. You know that's just like I was talking to a dude, and and I know people may feel some kind of way about this, but it was for for me it was more like academic, right? But one of the individuals that I studied for about. 45, maybe 50 years in my counting was uh, Adolf Hitler. His book, Mein Kampf. Whether Trump read it as he said he has it on his bedstand. I don't, I don't know what he got on there, but it really don't matter to me. Bottom, bottom line was like, 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 like my situation is like honestly, the enemy isn't someone necessarily. Who don't look like me. See I done found out the enemy is me. Once I. Once I lock that down. I'm going to. I'm, I know. I know the weapon now. See. And the weapon to use nowadays. Is not a gun. It's not bullets. You know I was just talking to a dude a minute ago. He say. He love uh, Arkansas. Like he lives next next door to me. Right. He say. He love Arkansas. Um, he said he lived in Texas. And uh, and so he's 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 here, right? So the young man, he just had a new baby, right? So I'm I'm listening to him talking to him, right? And uh, he tells me that he has what's called a concealed carry, right? I'm like, okay. So he asked me this one question, and for how young he is, I said, boy, this boy Timothy McVeigh, undercover. Because what he talking about, and he ain't really said too much, but I can put it together. You feel me? But I like him, though. His name is Steven. But anyway, I brought that up because you never know who's around you and how you have to listen. You know what I'm saying? And another thing about being out in Tucson, Tucson especially Tucson, but... But but there's areas even slightly outside of Phoenix. It's a it's a gold mine for African Americans, or if you want to call yourself blacks, gold mine with the right mindset. It's all about the mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's all about giving service where service is uh, non-existent. And see, true indeed, black folk are some of the hardest people to get along with, right? But to me, black folk are the most damaged. Here's why. They had everything taken from them. Language, um, speech, um, uh, ge- geography, you know, who they were, uh, the, the, the rites of passage for young males so they could, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, grow up into being men. Um, 
almost like everything. Then they were forced to take on somebody else's God and the rest of this, this, that, and the other. So my whole thing is this. What can you, what can you give them? Here's, the, here's what you can give them. And I know it's so simple, yet it appears complicated because most people don't believe. You give him himself. So my demonstration is I'm just going to be doing my thing, getting it, getting it, getting it done. And see, my thing is like this, even though I know about the ego and I may seem like it's all about me, but I'm going to say this here, right? You have to conduct yourself in such a way where you have to speak up. So you can't be no little mouse. And, you know, people going to test you, right? So you got to know how to do the art of war, Sun Tzu, no shot fired, a hundred wars, a hundred wins. Fourth century, art of war, Sun Tzu, check it out. And I'm not, I'm not even really spilling it like I really want to. That's like, that's like regular. You know what I'm saying? And then, look, I'm like this. Then you add God into this? What you got? Man, you be having me crying. Because I know this is it. And all I got to do is follow the plan. I'm like, yo. They say, who do you listen to? Do you listen to the guy who sells a lot of CDs and uh, no DVDs and sells all these books and stuff? And but he ain't ever did anything. And you can't go nowhere with his data. Yes, I have. I've bought a lot of those. I've been in this seminar, that that seminar, trying to come up here, trying to go, trying to study this, study that, uh, trying to compete over there. And then and then man, it, it got to the point where I was like. I must be going through this for a reason. And I found out what the reason was. So what is the reason? The reason is to figure out, just like everybody else, that there are no two trees alike. No two snowflakes alike. No two pieces of sand alike. In terms of the fact that the almighty creates masterpieces. And there's something that somebody on here that's listened to this, that you were created because there will be no one before you, no one after you, and you have a job to do to further heaven on earth through the manifestation of what is indwelling within you in terms of taking it to the next level Via creativity. Like creativity, like I'll just use basketball players. Michael Jordan's style, his handles was different. Kyrie Irving, his thing is different. Kobe, his whole thing was different. You feel me? Shaq's thing was different as a center. You feel me? Allen, Allen Iverson, his handles was different. Earl of Paul Mon Monroe, his joint was different. Uh oh. Uh, Wilt the Stilt, Chamberlain, back in the day, his joint was different. Abdul Jabbar, his demonstration was different. Magic Johnson, his situation was different. You feel me? But they was all masters and creative in what? The NBA. And they all were millionaires because they found that creativity within them in a sport. But check this out. What if you, what if you reach a level that you really understand superhuman powers? It's almost like the boy in what's it called? Uh, um, uh, Spider Man. I forgot the kid's name, right? But when he, but but when he was bit by the radioactive spider, whatever, right? He had to learn how to use his powers. That's how this is. And see, part of my power is intuition. Like my intuition. My intuition travel like thought. So thought travels at the speed of light at the very minimum. That's 186,000 miles an hour per square cube, cubic inch per second. 
So, you know, like a lot of the stuff that I studied when I was in high school teaching with the algebra, what not, not just, just the algebra so much, but the physics, the, the geometry, sacred uh, geometry and chemistry. Like, like I was talking about the, the other day about the uh, H, HO2, that's one hydrogen, two oxygens. Last, last letter, I believe is, I believe is zinc, I believe. But I'm going to look back at the like table, but I know the first uh, chemi uh, uh, chemical is, is hydrogen. Then, then the U.S. government, they got elements that they don't even put out there that I've been fortunate enough to like study that as well. See, but what I'm really on is something called mental alchemy. Think it's a game. And it is. And the game is to win. But it's to, but it's to win with a power that everything submits to. What is that power? So I'm going to say again, uh, this video is for my uh, brother-in-law, uh, uh, Calvin Big C Buckner, Real Deal, uh, uh, dog, and I don't know his whole card thing. I got to bring his card out. I have, used to have a card in my, my car, but anyway, I know it's real deal. I know it's real deal. I got to put his stuff out again, but, uh, but it's really for him just to make them laugh. But like, boy, you're making them videos, boy. Yep. Yep. Anyway, uh, I'm on it. Um, again, uh, this is the words of, uh, like and subscribe. This is the words for, um, affirmations, right? Uh, Believe, accept, know, relax. Believe, accept, know, relax. Believe, accept, know, relax. Believe, accept, know, relax. Because until you accept something, it's not real for you. And it's a process. So all you got to do is just keep on watching this. Keep on watching what I'm, what I'm doing. And all you got to do is follow the... Follow the, follow the situation and then let God work in your life. But then you know how. So the power, here's the power real quick. The power is the affirmations, the affirmations. What do you say to yourself every day that you resonate with that's positive and that you ignore anything negative? No negative. That's called mental alchemy. Mind is all. All is mine until I do another one of these joints.